time we're making leg warmers and they are very very easy to make and this is they're just really cute and I found very nice yarn this is the I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby and it's considered a print it's a number four worsted yarn so any four worsted yarn will work and I'm using size nine knitting needles these are circular but they don't have to be so let's go and cast on our stitches I'm going to be casting on 45 stitches and long tail cast on and I will see you when I finish doing this so now I already casted on my stitches and always count for more because you're going to need a long tail it's a good idea so that you can sew it with it and not have knots at the beginning and at the end so I always use these little gadgets for your hair too put it into a little bowl and get it out of the way so now what the, the pattern is to knit to knit two and purl two so that's it so knit two and purl two and you're going to be ending with a knit one and the reason is that when you have these knit knit two and you finish with a knit one you don't have a seam that shows let me show you where it is here it is okay so you have your knit two and the seam doesn't show let me see if I can get it closer so see the seam really doesn't show so that's what you want to do so as I said I ended row one with a knit one and row two is going to be purl one and knit two purl two knit two purl two and the whole way and you're going to end with purl two and you're going to repeat these two rows now you repeat these two rows 50 times which means I have a hundred rows from beginning to end so I will continue knitting this and when I get to the 100th row I will come back and show you how to bind off and sew it okay so now I know that with the way I made mine which is 45 stitches ribbing and 100 rows each it took 252 yards this is what's left so this is you know wonderful I could do it with one with one skein so now I'm going to bind off and with the way I want to do it is just regular bind off I need to pass that one over purl pass that one over purl don't do it too tight because you you don't want it very tight around your ankle so purl and pass over so do it as the stitch goes knit and knit purl and purl and I'll see you when I get to the end okay I do want to check that the two bind offs are the same on both legs so that not one is tighter than the other so there we are okay so now I want to cut a long tail to sew with. I left a, 
a long one at the beginning so that's good too and we pass that yarn through and we can start sewing so it really doesn't matter which is the right side is just that I'm going to get my needle and my thread here and I'll find that loop that's on that side. Let me get this a little bit closer so you can see. So that loop on the side where I bind off. So get that one there and pass that in the middle of this one so it doesn't show. See if you make a new loop around then your see your your seam doesn't show. So now I pass from knot to knot and from knot to knot and see if I have two stitches which is a two knit on this side and one knit on this side that means I can pick up half of a stitch on this side and half of this stitch on this side and that will give me my complete two knit okay so I will see you when I finish sewing this and I'll take some pictures see see how pretty that looks so I half of that so from knot to knot half of a stitch from that side and half of a stitch from this side and that gives me my two stitches that I'm supposed to have okay well I'll take some pictures of this and uh, thank you very much for watching please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I will see you next time